guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. What's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for um, January the 2nd until the 9th. I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to be using my deck. And I think I'm just going to do a split Divine Partnership reading. Okay, so let me pull the cards first. Uh... And I think I'm going to use my deck, my smaller deck, for clarifiers. I love you guys' suggestions, again, uh, for keeping a large deck and a small deck. Uh, like selling both of them. But we'll see how it goes. I want to at least start off with a small deck, the confirmation deck. Which is this little guy. Okay, <clears throat> so let me give these a quick shuffle as well. And, of course, I, I give them a good shuffle before I come on camera. All right. And I'm going to also use my smaller deck here. Oh, sticky. So, beginning with how the masculine views a relationship. The sun. Awesome. So, this is the most positive card in the deck. It represents new beginnings, a return to innocence. It's freedom. Um, but every great emotion that you can ever imagine is represented by this card. So, this is how he feels about the feminine. Oh, my God. And this card is about illumination as well, enlightenment. So, one card from my smaller deck, Five of Swords, and... Believe them. Trust in them. Interesting. So the Five of Swords here is negative finger pointing, negative energy being directed at you or towards somebody else. Um, and the confirmation card that came along with that is believe them. So maybe the masculine is um, questioning the connection. Is this too good to be true? Um, is what they're saying to me real or is it an illusion? Right, so he's fighting some thoughts in his mind. Um, and the message for you masculine is to believe them, to trust your intuition. What are you resisting is a page of wands. Uh, so this is great news, great communication. Um, it is beginning a new adventure, that new journey with the feminine. Uh, this is also about epiphanies, realization, so again, kind of playing on that sun card of illumination. So you, it's in your resisting position, so why is it in your resisting position? The Eight of Cups and Deep Feelings. So release grief, forgiveness, allow sadness, loss and remorse. Perfect card to go along with that Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is walking away from an emotionally draining situation. Um, it's leaving eight cups behind. You no longer um, desire those cups. You're in search of a new life. So this is the beginning of a pilgrimage. right? And this tinier card is, is talking about releasing deep feelings. Okay, loss and remorse, right? And so the masculine is resisting um, walking away from something that's emotionally draining and starting this new life that's more aligned with um, spirituality. Sorry. My little 
owl is in the way. Okay, so message from the higher self is the base chakra. So the first three chakras are where the parasites reside. So whenever these cards, the first three chakras show up in a reading, it means there's a blockage. So base chakra is a feeling of safety, security, sustenance, shelter. Um, so he doesn't feel safe. Um, he's, he's feeling vulnerable. Um, he, he's a scare, he's afraid of opening up. Um, yeah, okay, so let's pull a confirmation cards. Six of Pentacles, of course. And passion and desire, love, sexual love, romance. Um, love heals, oneness. So the Six of Pentacles is the reciprocation card or cohabitation card. So it's sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. It's sharing your energy. It's an even exchange of energy. What you send out, you get back. Okay, and so the message from your higher self, masculine, is to open up, to be receptive. Um, show your love. Be passionate. Be romantic. Um, you know, there's a sense of fear of rejection, right? And that's kind of what's holding you back. So what is in the past position is the Ace of Wands, which is a brand new beginning. Um, the Ace of Wands is held by the Page of Wands up there as they take a, you know, that step into that new adventure. The Ace of Wands is the Kundalini Awakening, an aha, an epiphany. So again, playing on that, that illumination there, enlightenment. And it is a go light, go time. So... In the past, the masculine has received that go light. Um, he, sorry about the cat, is scratching and he's actually shaking the table. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully, he stopped now. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, so let's pull the confirmation cards. <laughs> Diamond. Okay, so the uh, justice card and. Um, t torn people, betrayal, stabbed in the back, ignored. Uh, so the justice card is about karma. It's about cause and effect. What you send out, you get back. Very similar energy to the Six of Pentacles. However, the Six of Pentacles is all about 3D reality. So it's about helping others, sharing your wealth, right? Being open to giving and receiving. Where as cause and effect talks about, you know, what you've done, will have karmic consequences. So usually when this card shows up, it means that karma's on your side, right? So he was given the go light by karma. Um, he has this deep knowing um, that the path that he's about to embark on is one that is true and will bring him justice. Because he feels that he's been betrayed by a lot of people in the past and um, he feels that, you know, the, the tide has to turn and he is getting those signs and synchronicities from spirit that, you know, this is the right step for him, that, you know, that the, the path is cleared and not to worry. So some of you masculines may have made that realization or had that epiphany, um, yeah, so the Justice card is an 11, and then there's an Ace here, so 111. Okay, so what's in the present position is the High Priestess. Very nice. So the Masculine <clears throat> is really tapping into his higher self, using his intuition. His third eye chakra is activated. Uh, so this is Psychic Intuitive Abilities. Um, and usually this card shows up when you need to when you need guidance, when you need to make a decision, or um, you're, you're trying to find the answers for something. So he's in, um, you know, he's going within to find that guidance. The Ten of Swords 
and bad luck, wrong turn, um, feel disconnected from the rhythm of nature. Sorry, I need bifocals. I wrote the words way too small. So the Ten of Swords in, is an ending. Okay, in the, the past we have that go light, go time. Um, so it's an activation, it's a thrust forward. Laud all of these cards about a new beginning. Fire, passion, right? The wand is passion, desire, creativity. And however, it requires that the masculine put an end to negative thinking. And you can see that those negative thoughts creeping up on the masculine. So the Ten of Swords is betrayal, stabbed in the back, left for dead. It's a dark night of the soul. It's an ending to that. So again, there's a sense that the masculine felt that he may have taken the wrong turn in the past. He may have missed an opportunity to move forward. Um, and because he didn't move forward, he feels that he is stumbling along, you know, that um, he's had misfortune um, in his life. So the 10 does mean that it is completing. So this cycle is done, it's over. Um, and that's great because he's finding his way out of the darkness using his intuition. Okay, so the future position is, wow, the Ace of Pentacles, two Aces. Oh my God. And, you know, and the, okay, we got the base chakra, which is a one. The sun reduces to one. The Ace of Fire, one. The High Priest is a two. But the Page of Fire is also considered to be like a one because it's the beginning of a new adventure, right? It's a beginning um, of this new stage in your life. And the Ace of Pentacles is also one. That's, an, that's amazing. One, two, three, four of them so far. Five. So, uh, yeah, this is a gift from the universe. Abundance um, will flow into your life because you're making decisions based on what's best for you, right? Not what's best for other people. And so, yeah, there's major endings taking place, um, but you're being divinely guided and it's towards abundance. So one card for confirmation is solar plexus and spiritual leader. Wow. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this card showed up in the Twin Flame reading that I just did. So, the solar plexus chakra, I believe, also was um, a, you know, a driving theme in the, the masculine side of the reading. So, this is finding power and courage and strength in order to overcome a situation. Um, and the masculine, in his reading, he was coming into power. He was you know, the uh, Divine Masculine or Emperor card was in the near future, if I'm correct. Um, I, I've done a lot of readings since then, so all the information gets a little mumble-jumbled. But anyway, um, so when the lower chakras are activated, this is number three, it means there's a blockage there, right? So he, what I feel is he, he, you overcome this blockage by becoming a spiritual leader or seeking out your tribe, your community. And it's kind of interesting also, I just finished putting out a video on cyberbullying. Okay, and in that message I was talking about your tribe, your community, and how we should all be looking out for one another, protecting each other from hatred, you know, setting up boundaries. Um, in respecting yourself, you know, not compromising your self-worth um, for somebody else. So, I feel here is that there's a new beginning that is aligned with his spiritual growth, right? There's, um, he feels powerful because of this community, because of this tribe. And it is a gift from the universe. I can feel him reaching out, right? We see that spiritual activation with the wands, the sun, the high priestess. So that's, that's beautiful. 
you know, the, the roads that he's taken in the past have led him, you know, towards darkness. So the message from the universe is the Seven of Pentacles. So this card usually shows up for the feminine. So it's interesting to see it on the masculine side. Uh, so this is contemplation. Um, this is waiting for the tide to turn, waiting for the ships to return, waiting for that payoff. So while you're waiting, um, you're being asked to use that time wisely and plan for the future, see where you've made mistakes in the past so you don't continue to make those mistakes. All right, so this is waiting for something in the 3D reality. So the universe is sending you this card. Why? Ace of Swords and Confusion or Delay. Okay, so... There is an injustice. Something's unfair. So the Ace of Swords is making a decision. It's triumph, victory. It is um, having an idea and then grounding that idea into reality. But this person here is naked, so she's got nothing to hide. She's vulnerable. She's exposed. So the universe is asking you to, to make a decision, to, to have mental clarity, um, to find your truth and to speak your truth while you're in this waiting phase because you know there's this delay or confusion that is causing that it, okay there's something out there that requires a decision to be made right with the ace of swords um and so yeah use the time this time wisely this pause wisely in order to find your truth within okay so the external environment is the uh, king of swords wow so the king of swords could be an air sign I don't really read zodiac signs anymore the page of fire obviously fire um, the king of swords is somebody who is able to communicate very clearly he's a master communicator and he not only is he an authority figure but he makes decisions he plans and then takes action so this is in the masculine's external environment and he's getting the ace of swords there and so the king of swords obviously is holding that ace of swords in his hands he makes a decision to put an end to um, to chaos, to barriers, to to that bad luck, right? He doesn't take shit from anybody. So the ten actually reduces to one as well. So I think we got a one at every single position so far, um, except for the king. So let's see what else is up here. So the five of pentacles and a choice or change is needed, right? So. The King of Swords makes that choice, makes those decisions. Uh, this card also says contemplation, introspection, quit moping around, do something positive. Um, now the Five of Pentacles is feeling disconnected, feeling left out in the cold, feeling alone. So because this is coming in the external environment, I'm feeling that the feminine is waiting for communication. She feels disconnected. She feels alone. And she feels that there's a, a choice or change is needed. He needs to make that choice. You know, it's he's the one <clears throat> causing the delay on some level or vice versa. She could be the one that's disconnected. It's, and be, it's because he is not making that decision that you know he's the one causing that delay. There's this beautiful new beginning that's laid out before him, um, but he is resisting taking that step into that new adventure, into that new life. Um, so what does he fear is the Four of Pentacles being closed off, holding on too tightly, not letting go, 
This has to do with the 3D reality. So he fears this. Why? Queen of Pentacles and creativity and inspiration, fertility, new ideas, feminine power. So he's being closed off because he fears the feminine in 3D reality. The Queen of Pentacles is Earth, groundedness. Um, she's very successful, independent. She loves herself. She spreads her seeds for all. So she is the divine feminine in the 3D reality. And so is the, the Four of Pentacles is somebody being closed off in the 3D. So maybe he fears that he's been closed off for so long. And, you know, it's creating this blockage with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So he overcomes that blockage, right, with the Ace of Pentacles in the future. He's like, I'm done with this bad luck. I'm done with um, toxic people. I'm done with feeling betrayed and hurt. I want a life that is more aligned with what's best for me. Because if I'm not healthy, then no one else, then I can't, you know, help other people to be healthy. Right? It begins with you. Okay, so the overall energy of the reading. Wow, the Four of Wands. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. Of course, that's where all the fire is coming from. The Four of Wands is confirmation of a twin flame connection. The masculine recognizes this as something that is unlike anything he's ever experienced before. And this card is a card of commitment. So it is, um, you know, both aspects coming together in union, not only spiritually, but in also in the 3D. So it could be engagement, marriage, proposal, buying a home together. But it's coming together and then having this entire life spread out before you. And you can see that, that feeling of vastness, this beautiful life can begin. All you need to do is just take that step all right that's incredible and I think that's what the twin flame reading was like for the masculine as well so beautiful synchronicity there um, so I think I'm going to use the call it Baron Reed I seem to be getting a lot of repeat cards with the um, Miss and Mermaids so I'm going to yeah, kind of talk switch it up a little bit all right, what final messages do you have for the masculine? Yang. <laughs> awesome. I also forgot to mention that the sun is Yang. Energy, masculine energy. He fears the feminine energy. Um, but he's finding his power, his strength, and that's exactly what I was saying about the Twin Flame reading. Right? He's coming into his power. He's becoming a spiritual leader. So the yang is an extroverted energy. So let me just read that. Oops. Okay, so the masculine principle of movement and creative activity. Wow. Creative creativity and inspiration, fertility. That's usually a feminine trait. Um, the power to make things happen, taking action, the king of swords. Okay, so the relationship, actually, I want to read the oracle message and the relationship message. So the oracle message, Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. That's the ace of swords right there. Now is the perfect time to act where you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently, like the King of Swords. The uh, King of Swords is somebody who is emotionally detached as well, right? Harken back to that Eight of Cups up there. Um, the card signifies new life is a, sh sorry, new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. The Ace of Swords is also about cutting away barriers and obstacles. And so the Ten of Swords is also an ending to that. Um, 
there is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Isn't that true? You are the shaper. Take that Ace of Pentacles and create that beautiful life that you have always wanted. So the relationship message. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air. And now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Wow. So the universe is telling you, masculine, to take that step, to take the lead, to take action. Stop resisting this beautiful life. You know, true love. Wow. That is a powerful reading. Incredible. All right, guys. Take action. Go like Otan. Do it. So I do hope this has helped some of you guys out there. Um, I absolutely love your comments, and I thrive on them. So please leave a comment, like, or share. And uh, if you haven't yet, please hit the sub button. All right. Cheers.